Hi, this is Jerry at Hot Rods by Dean, Phoenix, Arizona. Behind me, we have the 2016 Street Rodder Fairlane Road Tour car that we're gonna be fabricating on. Uh, today, we're gonna show you how to uh, patch holes. We're gonna do a lot of hole patching in the firewall of this thing. Unfortunately, we're not ready in that process to do it, but we've done a mock-up here with the same gauge sheet metal, and we're gonna show you how to patch the holes in this. We're gonna be using the Miller Dynasty uh, DX, and uh, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to set up with a 16th inch tungsten, a number six cup, and we're going to run about, oh, I'd say about 48 to 50 amps on the, uh, on the machine. We're probably, we're probably going to do two, two things in this process to show you, and we want to use as, the least amount of amperage that we can to weld this sheet metal to minimize warpage and uh, to make sure our panel stays straight because we like to be nice to the body guys. Obviously we're not ready to uh, in the process of the car to fill firewall so what we've done is we've built a, a mock-up panel here uh, just to show you the process. What I like to do if, anytime possible is to take a piece of aluminum, this is steel, take a piece of aluminum and clamp it or hold it or any way that you can do this behind the hole, which takes a little bit of heat out and that also gives you a place to put your patch. Uh, a lot of times in a firewall you can't do that, but maybe you can get your buddy or somebody to get in the car, hold this up against it with uh, say a, a piece of uh, tubing or anything like that so he doesn't burn his hands and uh, give you enough time to get that patch tacked in there. Now, here's our patch, and uh, I like to grind it to where it's almost a press fit, but now you've got this little piece here that you're trying to put in here with your gloves, which is kind of awkward. You can do it, but I found to, to take, a, take a little bit of the stress out of it, we can weld a small piece of welding rod right to the center of your patch, and then that gives you a little bit of freedom to be able to put that in where you want, and it also makes it where you can see better. As you can see, we've got our rod welded to our little patch here, and this gives you the flexibility you need to be able to put this patch in here. You can keep away from the, from the weld, you're not blocking your vision, and what we'll do then is we'll find an edge that's uh, fairly close to the other edge and we'll just put a tack on it. At this point, you can break off your little piece of welding rod, which we'll come back and grind later, and then we can proceed to weld it. And I'm going to go ahead and use the, the uh, pulse a little bit. And I'm using some Hobart uh, ER70S2, which is a pretty standard TIG rod. Uh, and this is a 40 thousandths rod. Uh, you don't need a lot of filler material, material especially if you, uh, you fit this properly. As you can see, we've got minimal heat, which of course will keep the distortion out of it. Uh, the pulse welder works really well for that when you set the parameters correctly. And uh, I'm gonna go back to a direct weld now. Being an old school welder, uh, before we had the pulse and all that, I learned to uh, use the pedal uh, to control my heat. And uh, I'm more comfortable with that. But for a novice welder or somebody that's new to the deal, the pulse is really good because it, it gives you ample opportunity uh, to weld with the timing. As you can see, we've got our patches welded in here and uh, these things will, will clean up real nice. We'll make the body men happy and uh, that's a minimal amount of warpage thanks to the DX. 
and I think we're good to go on this. Uh, being an old school guy, I've resisted forever having an auto darkening helmet. But I tell you what, this digital infinity series, uh, it's spoiling me with the adjustability that you have. Uh, even old school guys that are used to flipping up their lid, this, this thing really makes things work a lot better. We've got a short period of time to do this uh, Street Rotter Fairlane 2016 Road Tour car. But I tell you what, the Miller products really make this a lot better, a lot faster. And uh, if you want to get some updates on the progress of our Fairlane, uh, check out Street Rotter. It's a great magazine. And if you'd like more information on the Miller products that we're using today, go to MillerWelds.com.